Let's look at solving an inequality that has fractions in it. So inequality means that we have a less than, greater than um, part to the question, rather than just an equal sign. That's called an inequality. So if we want to solve this, we're going to solve for x. It means get x alone. Solve for x means isolate x. So we're going to subtract 1 third from both sides. That cancels. That's why we did it. Leaving me just 2 thirds x here. Keep the less than sign. 2 thirds minus 1 third is 1 third. Now those were common denominators. If they had, been a, uh, if they had not been a common denominator, we would have had to get one to make them subtract. Of course, you could also just turn it into a decimal if your teacher let you. Now we want to get x alone. The way we do that is we're going to multiply by 3 halves. If you have 2 thirds x and you want to get x alone, you multiply by the reciprocal. The reason we do that is because 3 over 3 cancels, 2 over 2 cancels, leaving me just x. Now remember, whatever you do to one side of an equation or an inequality statement, you have to do the other. So we're going to multiply by 3 halves. Keep the less than sign. Always remember to drop it straight down. So we have x is less than 1 third times 3 halves. The 3's cross cancel. Makes it easy. So we have 1 times 1 is 1 for 2. So final answer, x is less than 1 half. If we hadn't cross canceled, we would have had 3 over 6, which would reduce to 1 half anyway. The only trick to remember with these is if we had had a negative sign here. If you divide or multiply, by a negative sign in your inequality. Then you have to flip the inequality sign. The less than would have become greater than. Otherwise, you really just treat this like a normal equation. The one trick is if you multiply or divide by a negative sign, by a negative number, then you're going to swap. You're going to make that the opposite sign.